What are the best keywords for my YouTube channel? It's important to have a clear topic for your YouTube video so you can focus your keyword research. Exploring one topic in depth allows you to target the right audience and discover the specific words they'll use to find your video. So get clear on your purpose. Are you posting a Minecraft tutorial? A vlog at the Grand Canyon? Two baristas racing each other to make a Starbucks latte? Read more. 7 Tips to Craft Irresistible Video Ideas on YouTube No matter what you're aiming for, try to summarize the video idea in 1-2 to two sentences. If you can do that successfully, you're ready to move to the next step. The next step is brainstorming a list of words to describe your video. This task is all about identifying what makes your video special, so consider the key talking points you'll discuss or unique details about the theme. Once you come up with a list of potential words, your research will go much smoother. You won't have to wonder, what should I type into the keyword tool? Because you've already covered that part, now it's time to take your word list for a spin. Make sure you've signed up for vidIQ Pro, then head to this page and click the Keywords tab. Go to the search bar and paste in a phrase from your keyword list. Then hit Enter. Next, let's see how the tool analyzes monthly search volume, competitiveness, related terms, and additional questions people ask about a keyword. After hitting Enter on your search, look directly below the search bar, you'll notice a keyword score for the term you just typed. This number represents the quality of your keyword in terms of search volume and competition. Generally, you want to use high volume, low competition keywords on YouTube. For example, Dog Food for Older Dogs has a medium search volume and low competition overall, not bad for a few seconds work. Now we know the search volume for this topic is high enough to get views without facing too much competition. That's a great sign because it's not easy finding low competition keywords for YouTube, wipes forehead sweat. Want to see other versions of the keyword you're exploring? Take a look at the matching terms panel, which is right below the keyword score. As you can see, the tool shares additional keywords we should consider. You might find some that describe your video better or have a higher keyword score, so take advantage of this panel. With related keywords, you can see how people search for the smaller details that are related to a topic, which is always good to know. But even better, Related keywords can expose the content gaps in other YouTube videos, the subtopics, viewers care about but don't get to see because they're missing from a video. So you can use related keywords to fortify your content with information people are looking for. To see related keywords, go to the related keywords section on the right side of the screen. Click view all keywords. Suppose people are asking questions about a topic on YouTube. In that case, you can make your video 10 times more valuable by providing a clear, helpful answer. To do this, head to the questions panel in the bottom right corner of the screen. Sometimes you won't see any questions if your topic is narrow, like the one we've chosen, dog food for older dogs. When that happens, try expanding your search to a broader term. Using a dedicated tool is the easiest way to research keywords, but there are other ways to get the job done. Here's a quick list of all the possibilities. Have you noticed that the YouTube search bar auto-completes every query? You could type the phrase, how to cook, a basic search, and YouTube will share a list of relevant searches to explore. Pay attention to these suggestions. If YouTube is recommending them, it's because viewers are searching for them right now. You can use these freebies to kick off your research. Want to make the suggestions more targeted for your niche? Make sure you're using the correct verbs. We used cook in the example above, which works well for a culinary channel. Have you heard of related Google searches? You'll see them at the bottom of Google search pages, like these keywords for the popular search phrase, YouTube Shorts Monetization. So how do these keywords affect your content? If you produce quality YouTube videos that have keywords from related searches, Google might recommend your content at the top of search pages. Imagine all of that free traffic going straight to your videos, Want to find popular keywords you can trust? Go to Google Trends and type in any phrase related to your content. Google will show you the relative popularity of that keyword over time, the regions people are searching from, related topics, and questions people ask. And if you want, you can change the search filter to YouTube to get relevant results. Overall, Google Trends can help you identify popular keywords and topics for your audience. It can also help you optimize your videos for search engines and improve your visibility on YouTube. Did you know that YouTube tracks the most popular searches on your channel? To see this information, pop into the YouTube Studio and head to the Research tab, YouTube Studio Analytics Research.
Once there, you'll find a feature called your viewer searches. This reveals what your viewers search for on YouTube, so you know which videos to make next and the specific keywords to pair them with. On the vidIQ channel, we're seeing searches like, how to increase subscribers, how to make thumbnails, and best video editing app for Android. The YouTube algorithm will then analyze those keywords to understand your video better, rank it within YouTube search, and suggest it to specific viewers. As a content creator, it's important to find keywords for your YouTube video. You never know who's looking for a specific video, so it makes sense to use the right words, if any, to help people find your content and get more views. To quickly summarize, here's how to get keyword suggestions for YouTube. Get ideas from a YouTube keyword research tool. Use the autocomplete function in the YouTube search bar. Look at related Google searches for your topic. Find popular topics, keywords using Google Trends. Explore potential keywords using the research tab, YouTube Studio. We hope your next video gets thousands of views from all the research you're about to do and the insights you discover. Happy creating! The tool is managed in a sleek, easy-to-use dashboard. Simply type your keyword in the search bar and Ahrefs pulls data from around the world to show you the total search volume for each term and how many clicks that search phrase earned. If clicks are low, it might mean that users aren't happy with the results they're seeing. Maybe they need an engaging video from you to be satisfied with their search results. Low clicks could also mean a video's thumbnail, title, and description aren't interesting enough for people to bother clicking on them. For more on that, check out this post. Ahrefs also pulls a few other interesting data points, including relevant search phrases that use your keyword and other keywords or phrases that are relevant to your term, making this tool not just a research platform but a keyword generator, too. Ahrefs offers four pricing tiers, ranging from $99 per month for a single user to $999 per month for five users. It's one of the more expensive options on this list, but if you're serious about keyword research, it might be worth the investment. You should definitely take advantage of the tool's 7-day trial for $7 to see whether you like it before you subscribe. When you search for a video on YouTube, the platform gives you a longer list of recommended results based on what other people searched for in the past. Keyword Tool leverages that data to help marketers like you improve your YouTube SEO. Keyword Tool is a YouTube autocomplete keyword program that generates popular search phrases from base terms. For example, a company that makes clothes for toddlers and infants might regularly use the term, baby clothes, as a keyword. After using Keyword Tool, that company could improve its keyword strategy with additional phrases like, baby clothes DIY, and, baby clothes quilt, both of which rank high as common search terms. You can also use the platform's trend data to see what times of the year certain keywords perform best to change your strategy depending on consumer habits and holidays. You can access Keyword Tool's most basic features for free, but it has plenty of other features that are worth paying for, like cost-per-click data and competitor keyword analysis. Keyword Tool's monthly plans range from $69 to $159 a month depending on the volume of keywords you plan to analyze. All you need to do is pop your keywords into the search bar and wait for the tool to populate a list of suggested keywords. Another handy bit of info can be found in the Trend column. Here you're able to see whether a keyword is trending up or down based on search volume. Anything trending sharply downwards might not be worth your time. Please like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.